really all we needed to do was win at least one of our last two games and we'd be fine. So, of course, we drew them both. Mateta had all four goals across the two games. He's having a great second half of the season. I have two goal scorers that have 20-plus goals. And Mateta's actually got 10 assists as well. And then I've got Olise with 18 assists. And Eze, who's injured and out for a while now, with 15 assists. Uh, Olise, Pligri, Mateta, and Edward each have 12-plus goals. It's been a well-rounded team. Uh, I've been able to cover the injuries fairly well. I just haven't been able to put teams away when I need to. So, math. It's been 30 years since I've had to do it on a regular basis in my head. If we beat Man United, that gives us 74 points, and they can't catch us, and we hold on the fourth spot. Unless we beat them, and then they beat whoever they're playing the last... We just need to beat Man United. So, uh, I'll be a bit upset. There's still a chance we can miss out on European football. If we do, I am going to be moderately peeved. You know, and of course, because we're doing so well, all the knives are out, figuratively speaking, for our great players. And some of our solid players. Sessegnon's wanted by the Wolves again. Will Hughes is wanted by Hispalis. Uh, Jamie Sayoni is wanted by Monaco and Atalanta. Edward is wanted by Leicester. Mateta is also, wow, that's new. Uh, Leicester, Monaco, Milan, and Roma. Uh, Jeffrey Schlupp is wanted by Genoa, but his contract is ending at the end of the season. You know, I've got... I get the feeling we're going to be raided in the offseason. The, the one saving grace I have is that I re-signed Michael Olise to a contract that has a 56 million pound release clause. I totally forgot to introduce the starting lineup. Takashio to Greenwood. Pogba. All the way out to Dalla. Delo. And he lost a shot that was ambitious to say the least. So we've got Alte and Goal, Riedewald, Zagadu, Anderson, and Sessignan as the defensive back four. Sayoni and Hughes as the midfielders. Verone and Elise as the attack midfielders. Mateta and Edward up top as the strikers. Sessignan. Shores it to Ron, Mateta, to Zagadu. Don't know what, exactly what he's doing. Hughes to Anderson, Zagadu. Sancho dispossesses him, but Anderson gets it back. We're going the wrong direction. The goal is over here. Edward feeds Sessegnon. Feeds Olise, who hits the post and it goes out. Henderson on the goal kick to Twanzebe. Up to Takatito? Takaicho? I'll figure it out. Oh, dispossessed. Verone. Gets the ball to Sayoni. He feeds Riedewald back to Sayoni, all the way back to Zagadu. I'm not a huge fan of this. Hey, let's go backwards before we go forwards. Edward to Mateta. Olise dinks Henderson and hits the post again. What on earth? Are you kidding me? Zagadu. Up for Verón, but he hits it too far. Henderson bombs it forward. Sancho. Up into space. Ronaldo's going to get there. He gets it back to Foiler, who scores top left. Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, and flipping real. And it looks like my guy there just didn't even try to head it. He just moved his head out of the way so the ball could go in. Oh, kicked away by Rita Wall. That was nice. Elise on the corner. And it goes in. Mateta with the goal for his 25th of the season. It's his 100th league goal. Okay. He's turned, into good, he's turned into a good pickup for Palace. I had my reservations the first season. Um, I know in real life Palace isn't playing him nearly as much as they could. Hughes off the throw and gets it to Mateta who got by the defenders. And he hits the post. Oh, Verone to Hughes. That's three woodwork hits. Three woodwork hits in the first 35 minutes of the match. Tecatito sends it in. Knocked away. Twanzebe. Alte blocks the first one and the second one, but not the third one. <sighs> Ooh. 
It's going to be one of those games. It's going to be like 6-5, and whoever has possession last is going to win. Alte blocked that one. He blocked that one. Couldn't block that one. You know, never mind the fact there's two other guys on the line with him who can help him out. Neither one of them seem to have really helped. Sessignon driving forward because it's a kickoff highlight. Kicks the ball too far. Varane runs it down. Gets the ball to Froiler. Out to Greenwood. Cuts inside. Then outside. Feeds Tecatito to Ronaldo. Why was he not offsides? Why was he not offsides? Froiler to Varane. Back to Froiler to Greenwood. Tecatito. Greenwood. Froiler. Pogba. Turns around, gets it to Sancho. Greenwood comes out. Bindar makes a very. Bayander makes a. Alte. Alte makes a very nice save. Now we're in fifth position. Ball's headed away. And the highlight ends. And now it's halftime. And we're down 3 1 thanks to three woodwork hits. Varane sends the ball forward to Sancho. Delac. Oh, ball's intercepted by Hughes. Anderson to Hughes, to Sayoni, up to Edward, up into space. Tecatito sends it back to Henderson, who bombs it forward. Ball's headed down. Zagadu finally ends up with it. Dude, what are you doing? Henderson walking around with the ball like it's his best friend. Bombs it forward to no one in a uni in a United uniform. Zagadio. Over to Hughes. Up to Edward. Back to Sayoni. Taps it up for Mateta. And we get one back. Well done, Jean Philippe. And this was nice. Nice pass to Mateta. Still making sure everything's turned on. We'd be paranoid about that for the next few videos. Greenwood driving forward. Oh, he's dispossessed by Riedewald. Riedewald just knocks away. Tecatito gets the ball to Froiler. Back to Pogba. Fernandez. Sancho heads it in. Alte, a very nice save on the Ronaldo kick. And he was offsides anyways. Okay, we're going to make a couple changes here. Verón is not having a good game. We're going to bring on F Fosu for him. Actually, let me check something out here real quick. No, this is what we're going to do. We're going to move Elise over, bring Verone off, bring Peligri on. That's going to be our only change for now. Last 10 minutes of the game, we're going to go very attacking. Take a Tito. Juanzebe. Oh, loses the ball. Edward feeds Mateta. Oh, right at Henderson. Come on, guys. Three minutes of extra time. Two minutes. One minute. Mother. Three woodwork hits in the first 30 minutes of the match. Three. Oh, now we're down in fifth place. Blivet. Blivet, Blivet, Blivet. Do we even know who United's playing? So now we have to play the team that is fighting for first place. City is playing Man City next. No, that's us. So he's playing Bournemouth. We need Bournemouth to help us out. Relegation. <sighs> Bournemouth's getting relegated. They've got... They've got... <sighs> it's going to be these last three weeks that, have, that are going to cause us to miss Champions League football. And if we look, we'll get European football, Euro Cup at the least. Man, this bites. So Clark was called up for the under-20 squad. 
if I need to see who Arsenal's playing. Arsenal's Arsenal is playing Wolves because it's literally right there. And Wolves are not fighting relegation. Bournemouth is being relegated no matter what they do. It's a lot of math happening. Man City's three points ahead of Liverpool. If we beat them and Liverpool draws and Liverpool wins, I think they go ahead based on head to head. But I haven't looked at it. Yeah, it's going to be one of those things. So this is the squad we're looking at. It's going to be Alte in goal, Mitchell, Zagadou, Anderson, and Sessegnon is the defensive back four. I really wish Gwehi was there, but he is out. He is not completely match fit. You know what? But he's good for 75 minutes of action. We're going to start him at 75 minutes of action. That's Sayoni and Hughes, Verone and Elise, Mateta and Edward. And then we need to get... Anderson, Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte. Elise on the corner. Verone, Sayoni, and he... Wide right. Foden, De Bruyne, Rodri, Mbappe. Cancelo, back to Rodrigo. Up to João Felix. To Foden. Foden's dispossessed by Elise. Bangs it forward. It's knocked down. Rodrigo recovers the ball, though. Up to De Bruyne. Out to Cancelo. Cancelo to Bernardo. De Bruyne. Rodrigo. Top of the box. Back out to Cancelo. Crosses it in. Mbappe's there. Are they going to say he was pushed? Are you freaking kidding me? Who is this going to be? De Bruyne? I'll take guessed right, but he went low, the ball went high. Okay, from that angle, Alte really didn't even move. And it is halftime. Not a lot of highlights. The corner kick and the penalty kick were it. We've had two shots the entire match. Arsenal score against Wolves. Laporte and Mbappe knocked away by Mitchell. United's two up on Bournemouth. Cancelo on the throw-in. Oh, just possessed by Verone. Verone to Mitchell. Mitchell to Sayoni. Up into space for Elise. Elise back across to Verone. Chests it down. Gets it to Sayoni. Sayoni feeds Verone. Takes the shot. Hits the woodwork. What the? It was a great clearance by Sayoni. I'm so... Still trying to figure out how the heck we're hitting the woodwork so many damn times. 75 minutes in. Elise is having a bad game. <sighs> Gonna bring... Peligri on for Mateta. We're gonna bring Perez on for Elise. We've got three shots. Oh, now we finally had a shot on target. Come on, we need a tie. Freaking United put five on Bournemouth. United wins the Prem. The City wins the Prem. Where does that leave us? Freaking sixth place. Received 28.96 million for finishing sixth. Qualified for the Euro Cup. At one point in time, we were in third place. Fourth, 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 third, fourth, 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 all the way down to sixth. Two draws and two losses, our last four games. Okay, I'm going to pause this here. And we're going to come back for the FA Cup final match against Liverpool. If there's any news in between now and then, I'll, I'll be sure to add that. Last game of the season. The FA Cup final against Liverpool. Who were in first place most of the year until the very end when Man 
City beating us gave them first place. Good news is, everybody's pretty match fit. I got a bunch of guys on yellow cards I'm not really worried about. And this is who we're going to play. We're going to play Alte in goal. Mitchell, Zagadou, Anderson, and Guehi as the defensive back four. Sione and Hughes as the midfielders. Verone and Elise as the attacking midfielders. Mateta and Edward up top as the strikers. Then we got Thaler, Riedewal, Poligri, Sessignon, Chaduri, and Perez on the bench. I just want a good game. I don't want any woodwork hits. A game without woodwork hits, I'm all on board for. And of course, we're playing at Anfield. I did have a very good pregame team meeting with the guys. Guehi, knocked away by Gomez to Lewandowski. Oh, out to Sala. Crosses it to Mane, headed away. Olise passes it towards Edward, but it's knocked down to Robertson. Keita. Back to Robertson. Out to Henderson. Keita, top of the box. Sala, knocked away by Alte. Hughes, back to Anderson. Hughes to Sione. Gives the ball away. Lewandowski ends up with it. Mane feeds Chamberlain. Alte, a very nice stop. Mitchell just kicks it out of bounds. Mitchell on the throw-in. Oh, McAuley steals the ball from Verone. Centers it. Mane's right there. What the heck Verone was thinking. Chamberlain, up Lewandowski, over to Keita. Interesting save by Alte, but it worked. Zagadou, up to Sione, over to Verone. Verone in the crowd, driving forward still, dispossessed. Ball goes to Elise. Verone takes the shot just wide left. Interesting sequence there. Verone lost the ball, went to Elise. Verone got it back, and Virgil van Dijk scores on the header. Well, with every season comes the highs and lows. The first 36 weeks were kind of a high. The last two weeks have been lows. Robertson on the throw-in. Keita. To Mane. Who hits the side of the post. Alte. To Anderson. Over to Zagadou. Banks it up the field. Verone heads it down to Mitchell. Mitchell gets it back to Verone. Verone to Mateta. Mateta back to Zagadou. We're just not moving the ball up the field. We're moving it back and forth. We're letting him press up. <coughs> Excuse me. Press us. Sorry about that. Zagadou up to Sayoni. Mateta up in his space for Olise. Olise has it. Centers it. Edward takes the shot. Puts it far post. That was nice. There's too much back and forth passing. It's like we're almost playing a vertical tiki taka, but it's not. The the I don't believe we're set up that way. I mean, we'll take a look at it here at the half. And that is the halftime. Liverpool has a two one lead based on seventeen shots, nine on target, five half chances. We've had three and two. So we're custom control possession, slightly shorter passing, passing into space, play out of defense, work the ball in the box, be more expressive. Nothing about that says vertical tiki taka. I mean, vertical tiki taka itself is is a is a philosophy that's different than control possession. And yet I've got high lines and we're we're pushed back. Elise to Hughes, Hughes driving forward loses the ball. Lewandowski. Mane. Alte is right there. Lewandowski gets it back and ends up punching it over the crossbar. We got lucky there. Uh, 66 minutes in. Costas Samakis picked up a yellow card. We're going to bring Fosu on for Verone, who's having a bad game. We're going to get Chaudhuri on for Hughes. Elise from distance. Curls it around the wall. Off the crossbar. (sighs) 
He's hit the woodwork, I swear, four times this episode. Fosu, back to Zagadu. Zagadu over to Anderson. Anderson to Guehi. Guehi up to Olise, to Chowdhury. Edward, Olise was tripped, gets back up. Chowdhury has the ball, back to Anderson. Feeds Olise. Olise back to Anderson. Anderson back to Alte. Gets it out to Zagadu. Chowdhury in the center. Up into space for Fosu, who's dispossessed, but he gets it back and pushes it wide right. He rushed the shot. <laughs> We're going to get Mateta off and bring on Poligri the last 15 minutes of the match. Mateta's down to a 6-2. He's just not doing well. Virgil, Piqueta. Curving long ball to Jeremy. Jeremy, baseline. Lewandowski can't get ahead on it. Smikas to Chamberlain. Jeremy? Mane was way off sides. There's no way that counts. Very attacking the last few minutes. Jeremy sends it in. Chowdhury heads it away. Olise gets the ball. Chamberlain steps in front of him, takes it away. Henderson. Oh, we get the ball back. Olise gives the ball away. We get... Chowdhury's... What a crap way to end the season. An absolute... Two draws, three losses, five woodwork hits, received 900,000, Chowdhury suspended for a match, qualified for the group stage of the Euro Cup. Save the game here real quick. Let's get to the end of season review here. Emmanuel Teodorani, I think I've already looked at him. And a season review. We're giving Mateta a C. Thaler's a B minus. Poligri's a C. Bayandar's an A plus. That makes sense. Dan Axel Zagadou's an A plus. Pavlinka's a B plus. That's interesting. Blanco's a B minus. Barone's an E. Season results. They wanted us to qualify for the Euro Cup. We did. Full attendance. Mateta, 24 goals. We got off to a slow start. We had a good spring, and we just absolutely threw it away at the end of the season. Best win was the 5-1. Match to remember was the 3-1 against Chelsea. That was a good game. Finance-wise, uh, we were up in sponsorship, a little bit down in broadcast revenue, up everywhere else, and equal in Match Day commercial retail. Best 11. I don't know why they don't have Edward on there. He played more games. He had 26 goals. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, player of the season was Mateta. Olise was the young player of the season. Mateta was the signing of the season. Olise was the goal of the season. Edward was the top goal scorer at 27. Olise had 20 assists. Olise also had six players in the match. Anderson, the best pass completion rating. Uh, Olise's 20 assists break a record. Bayandar's eight shutouts break a record. The youngest goal scorer was Tom Pierce at 16 years, 266 days. We had a really good, we, we did have a really good season. We just had a chance at Champions League. I'm really kind of mad we didn't get there. Four years ahead of schedule on reaching European football. Passing, we had lots of passes. We were accurate. Goal. Goal scoring was high quality shooting, poor defending. That makes sense. Fewer dribbles, loose in possession. We just, we've got to firm up our offense. In the season break, training camp deadlines, we are going to go to Scotland. I haven't seen the budgets for next season. That's got to be coming up here soon. In the season team meeting, top half. Okay, we'll take a look. We need to get to where the budgets are. The accept current vision I can live with. We should get our budget results back here soon. We'll take a look at the players here. We met financial fair play. We got hit with the tax bill. Club membership fee, 119000 Commercial summary, up, down, up, up, 
it's a tie. It was 1.17 last season. New scouting budget. We'll kick that up here at the beginning of the season. Initial budgets. 1.7 million, 62.5 million on the budgets. We're spending 1.3, so we've got a lot of wiggle room. Club improvements. Oh, yes, we are totally, totally increasing our youth level to Category 1. I am all on board with that. Well, Arsenal are after a lease. They're going to have to pay uh, his release fee. Well, at least we're probably wants to join a bigger club. Arsenal will represent an upgrade over Crystal Palace. Uh, I'm not quite sure how they see how he sees it that way. So if we sort by appearances, Edward... Edward led the team. 46 appearances, one of the bench, 27 goals, 8 assists, 3 players of the match. Anderson had 41 appearances, 7.18 for the uh, rating. 2 players of the match based on his defense. Uh, Sayoni, 5 goals, 4 assists. The 6.99. Bander was very solid between the sticks. 38, 38 appearances, 4 players of the match, 7.28 rating. Uh, Eze, 7 goals, 15 assists, 1 player of the match. Uh, Olise, 12 goals, 20 assists, 6 players of the match. Uh, we jump down. Mateta, 32 appearances, 26 goals, 10 assists, 6 players of the match. Uh, Peligri, 15 goals, 4 assists, 3 players of the match, and 14 goals. 14 goals. And 14 appearances, 15 off the bench. Uh, Tariq Fosu was 3-3-1 three, three, and one in mostly relief work. So if we sort by goals, you've got Edward, Mateta, Peligri, Olise, Eze, Sayoni. But you have, I'm going to take out the uh, guys on loan here. But you have four players with uh, 10 plus goals. You have three players with 10 plus assists. And Edward was on eight. I'm really liking that. It's, it's a very nice distribution of the ball, of the responsibilities. It meant we weren't relying on one player. So the contracts that are expiring are going to start here. And go down to here. Because this view is a little bit too long. So a lot of youth players. Uh, Milivojevic isn't interested in resigning. So we've got some players that are wanted as well. That You know what? If, if they leave, we're going to get top dollar for them. Top pound for them, I should say. And we've, got a, we've got a big enough budget. We should be able to replace them with quality. So... Overall, the season was a success. It really was. I was aiming for European football. The thing is, the last few weeks, we were in fourth place. We had a chance to go up to third, and we absolutely frittered it away. And I'm really kind of upset about that because we drew to two beatable teams. We lost to two teams that we could have drawn with, and I think we found the woodwork more than we found the back of the goal. That's just the way it seemed. But it was a season to be very proud of. Finishing in sixth place, plus 28 goal differential, we were picked to finish mid-table. And our goal, my personal goal at the beginning of the season, was European football. And we're in European football. And I'm happy with that. I really am. I'm just upset with this the last three games we've played. So a solid season for us. It's going to be an interesting offseason. We're going to get some of the youth guys who are the future out on loan. They may actually get some starts as well. We've got some scouts retiring that we're going to have to replace. We've got some coaches retiring that we're going to have to replace. And at one point in time, the, the team was rumored to be the target of a takeover. So, yeah, season's, the offseason is going to be interesting. So it's a successful season, I think, if a bit disappointing at the end. If you did like what you've seen and heard, please give a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellicoe, and I thank you for watching.